Today we are hitting on the origins of what a lot of you may know as the grudge. I am... What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Every weekend we talk the brand new movie or show on Netflix, and this weekend it is Jew on Origins. I was so excited to cover this. It's not often we get a really good horror show or even movie on Netflix. Did this live up to expectations? I need your comments down below. This is a spoiler-free review. If you'd like for us to talk spoilers, we'll do that. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, but let's get into it. So the legendary horror franchise is set to once again shake the world as Netflix releases the first ever horror based on the Japanese original. It's the beginning look at the curse as it gives you a raw look into the chain of terror that befalls everyone who comes in contact with the house. Directed by Sho Miyake, this was an exciting exploration of sorts into this world. I was interested to see how they were going to tie this into the original movie uh, and how this lore comes about. Now, structure-wise and story-wise, it's an interesting show. Because what happens here is we're not just getting one story easily accessible from beginning to end. This is one of those shows, and I hate to say it like this, you may have to pay attention a bit more than you were expecting. It's a series of interlaced, interconnected stories that at the beginning you're curious, okay, how does all of this have to do with each other? And it almost feels so random at points, it may be frustrating for some, uh, but we know going in this all has to do with this house. Now here in America we have plenty of stories such as the Amityville Horror. I mean you can look at the Conjuring franchise and it's not specifically the house but a, a similar fashion to that. Uh, but Juon Origins does a great job of giving you that feel and that concept without actually going overboard with its jump scares. Now I know that's going to bother a lot because you may be going into this series thinking oh this is going to be the scariest like the jump scariest show I've ever seen. And that's not the case. If you're comparing it to something like The Haunting of Hill House, that show had some really well-executed jump scares, but way more than a show like this. But where this show got me was more the simplicity with its scares and the gruesome and gore-filled scenes, especially in the final few episodes. Some of the most haunting imagery I've seen in quite some time. Just effective scares that do more building intensity than actually making you jump out of your seat, if that makes sense. And I think that's going to turn certain horror viewers off, which is unfortunate, especially if we're kind of used to what we're getting now, a lot of CGI spooks, and sometimes, you know, studios and movies, they can go a bit overboard when it comes to what everything actually looks like on screen. And this doesn't do that. It scales it back. Now, what we do see, especially, I, there's something towards the end, and it's... And it's small, and it's kind of terrifying, and I get chills just talking about it. And that's where the show got me, is with its imagery. Now, it's used uh, maybe a lot more sparingly than fans are going to want, but speaking of fans, right? If you're fans of the original Japanese lore, and not even necessarily the American movies in The Grudge, I much prefer the Japanese original, then I think you're going to enjoy this. I think you're going to enjoy what goes into uh, building on the origins, per se, of this house and then how it affects everyone that comes in contact with it and we're slowly putting together these clues it's like a puzzle and how our main character of Odejima is piecing those elements together so I found that interesting slightly confusing at times and I think that's another issue is the narrative uh, occasionally goes off on a trail that you may not be as interested in. You have all of these different stories coming together. Some of them work really well. They're effective in terms of their scares. Uh, others you may not find yourself appreciating until they come back around in the latter half of the season. Speaking of the season, it's only six episodes, each episode around 30 minutes apiece. So in terms of easily binging this, I think it's one of the easiest binges of the entire year, and I got through it super quick. Now, part of that may be the fact that I just, I don't often get scared. And this is where every audience member is going to differ, and I think your appreciation from the series is going to come from a couple of things. One, if you get scared easily, this may work really well for you. If you're looking for things to add into the lore, I feel like you're going to respond extremely well. Jump scares, 
not that many jump scares. Uh, scares throughout the episodes. No, there are certain episodes that don't have scares at all. And what it's doing is it's just adding on to what you need to know for the back half of the season. And so for me, I'm not looking necessarily for the scares to impact me and scare me. I'm looking more to appreciate how they go about building them and how they're executed. And from that standpoint, when they happened, I was freaked out. Some of the imagery got me. And I was satisfied with what I got. But again, not a lot of scares throughout. But again, the way that this series is laid out, the idea of this researcher just obsessively looking for this cursed home, and the fact, and I haven't thrown this in yet, that this is based on real events that occurred over 40 years ago. If you look at it from that perspective, it makes it much more terrifying. So yeah, guys, I like this show. It's stylistic, it's interesting, it has a story that may get a bit convoluted at points, but if you can get past that and get into those final few episodes, and the payoff, in my opinion, was really, really great, and some of the imagery, like I said, just a lot of elements that make Jew on Origins an interesting horror show on Netflix. It's a recommendation from me before I get into my score. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, leave those thumbs up. Tells me you'd like to see more. I'm going a solid 7 out of 10, a 70% for Jew on Origins. It is a good horror series. If you're a horror fan, especially if you're a fan of this lore, I think you're going to appreciate it, but I would love to know how you feel down below. Leave those comments, tell me your thoughts, and would you like to see me talk more? I'm thinking about doing a video on how this thing wrapped up and the lore behind that. I would love to know if you'd like to see that. I'll see you soon.